What's up, people of YouTube? Lunar Spire 1127 here with Naruto Chapter 569, Prove Your Will. To recap what happened during the last two chapters, Kakashi and Guy come in to save Naruto. They fight the Jinchiriki while Naruto and Killer B fight um, the Yonbi. The Yonbi eats Naruto, but Naruto meets the Yonbi in the, his mindscape somehow. Uh, turns out tail beasts have names and they're not really evil. The Yonbi's name is Son Goku. No relation to the son to the Goku from Dragon Ball Z, and Kyuubi's name is Kurama. No relation to Kurama from Yu Yu Hakusho. Their names are just mere coincidences. Now to now the chapter starts off with Yanbi telling Naruto that he's not that even though he's going to save him, uh, that doesn't mean that they're allies unless he proves unless he gains his trust, which Naruto's okay with that. So Naruto wakes up inside the inside the Yanbi's house and um Toby was is about to pull the nine t will capture the nine tails by pulling the Yanbi inside him somehow. So Naruto's trying to think of a way to get out of the Yon get out of the Yanbi, so he decides to use the multi shadow clone jutsu to create so many clones that the Yambi will barf Naruto out. Uh, this is kind of similar to what he did when he got eaten by the snake during the tuning the force of death during the tuning exam arc. So there's like this brief flashback that uh Yambi tells Naruto that that one of the chakra that the chakra rods will be in his neck even though it's supposed to be on his nipple, but I guess since he's in his tail beast, since he, Roshi turned into the Yanbi, he it moved up to his neck. So Naruto, Naruto sees the the, the chakra rod, and he's go, and it was going to pull it out, while the Haichibi distracts uh, the Yanbi. So Naruto uses his Super Saiyan Kyuubi mode to reach to use the chakra arms to reach to the Yonbi's neck and try to pull out the chakra rods. But uh, Toby, unfortunately, I think releases the chakra chains to try to bind Naruto. He's, he mentions that, uh, Toby mentions that this bondage, the way he puts it, is much more powerful than Pain's outer path. Come to think, I, d I actually don't recall Nagato using chakra chains during the Pain Invasion arc. Uh, maybe I missed something. Maybe he did use it, but I missed it, or maybe he didn't use it before. I don't know why, but while Naruto is being chained, being bond chained by the, the chakra chains, the QB, or I guess I should call him Kurama now. Kurama decides to have a flashback, and not just, and it's not just one of those flashbacks that you, that are like really interesting to see, it's, you know, like uh, something that we've never seen before during the past. No, these are just flashbacks of every, not almost every moment that Naruto had to prove his worth, like Naruto declaring becoming the Hokage, Naruto learning the Shadow Clone Jutsu, Naruto fighting Neji. Uh, during the tuning exams, Naruto fight uh, Naruto during the, the the Land of Waves arc, and then all the way to the Pain Invasion arc. It, it's just how many flashbacks? It's just let's go, so many, and really, it's like five pages of flashbacks. Do we really need those flashbacks? I know I'm not like one of those people that complain. I mean, I don't mind flashbacks, really. I don't. It's just, do we really need flashbacks of every moment of Naruto's, of every moment that we've seen Naruto fight or prove his worth? I mean, we've already seen these before. I don't think we need to see them again. Uh Honestly, the flashbacks were pretty pointless. I, I was like, moving on, moving on, moving on. Nothing interesting, moving on. <laughs> so, 
So, I don't know. I guess now that Kurama is done with his flashbacks, um, he says that if Naruto wants to do something for the Tailed Beast, then he says, do what you always do and prove it to us with your actions, which is always what he does. And, you know, while he's having his flashback, I believe the re it was uh, the real Naruto. Apparently the Naruto in the QB form was actually a clone. But the real Naruto is it still inside Yanbi's mouth. And I guess I should call him Sun now, since that's his real name. I don't know. He's in Sun's mouth uh, with its Sage Mode. And I guess he's using Sage Mode to locate, I think, to locate either the Naruto clone or the chakra chakra rods but anyway he finds the chakra rod that and he's and he uses this technique called frog smash or kawazu tataki i think that's what it is in japanese to smash the chakra rod from the inside so that the QB Naruto will be able to pull it out from the outside and that's where the chapter ends so this chapter, um, I'll admit it's not that bad, but not a lot. Of, there's still like plenty of action, and and they're the story's moving along nicely and all. But do we really need those five pages of flashbacks? I I don't mind flashbacks of people's past that we've never seen before. I just don't like flashbacks of every little moment that we've known that we've already read f through f from many chapters ago it, it was like five pages um... well even though the flashbacks were a bit po still pointless this chapter was pretty good uh... looks like Naruto will be able to free the Yombi I don't know what uh... or sorry Sun I don't know what Sun is going to do He'll probably help Naruto and Killer B fight against Toby, but won't Toby be able to try to control him again with his shine gun? And anyway, even if they have two tail, probably have like three tail beasts on their side, there's still the matter of the rest of the Jinchuriki. I mean, what are they going to do with, against them? And there's still Toby that you have to deal with. So who knows what might happen? what might happen next week so for this chapter I'm just this chapter was just eh, meh. I didn't hate it but it was just it was just average to me so I guess I'll, I'll give this chapter a 6.5 out of 10 um, I didn't like the fla honestly I didn't like the flashbacks but I did like the action and the plot in the pacing of the story, I just wish that it would have been a little faster without the flashbacks. But that's just me. So that's Naruto chapter 569. Can't wait to see what happens on 570. So this is Lunar Spire 1127, and I'll see you guys later.